into the seats, parents are just... of American Symbols on Parade. With great assistance from Mrs. Rivera, our co-director, the class has really worked very hard and they are delighted to present the fruits of their labor. So without further ado, American Symbols on Parade. Like 
bald eagle is a great symbol, just like Buddy Fox and PS6.
biggest time burning down in 1812. But I will ever wear my secret third agent. Both are eggs for me. I completely understand that you're the white one. Everybody expects you to be an American civil parade. Well, I was trying to get the courage and just when I thought I could do it, I could do it. Uncle Sam insulted me. <laughs> Uncle Sam is took him for the cap and some little things. As if he had some big song for a head and was home for the U.S. Congress. Congress, it's humiliating. Uncle Sam, just a little, a little distracting. You know how he does it the parade. It's not just Uncle Sam. Lots of people get the two of them confused. It makes no sense. I don't know. President of the United States for over 200 years. What if it was a different color? Blue, maybe yellow. Yeah, yellow. Then you could be called Mustard House. <laughs> so he said it sounds like a hot dog day. Everybody loves you the way you are, but you just need to remind them where to find you. But then they'll be able to get me. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Besides, everyone already knows your address. They do? Even the British? Mention the child who burned it down in 1812. You're perfectly safe. We'll follow these nice people. Guess who's right? They do be nice people. Thank you. 
special primary Joseph State of Ohio.
At this time, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Ms. Adminel. Thank you, everybody. We'd like to thank um, Mrs. Safalco, Mr. Ford, for this wonderful opportunity. Um, Mr. Dover, myself, and Ms. Diana. Uh, of course, all the wonderful children, uh, they did a great job. And the parents, for your support, for your practicing, for decorating the costumes, setting up a party. Uh, of course, Ms. Diana, who would wear a flag for us. <laughs> Um, to Ms. Jo Atkinson, oh, thank you, for her um, wonderful support, uh, always. <laughs> uh, Ms. Woods for helping us. Um, for our lunch lunch teachers, who we run our ideas through every day. <laughs> All the people who have done plays before us, giving us uh, great standards to follow. Um, Ms. Sue helping us with the music. Of course, um, Ms. Esposito, for everything she's done, all the parents again, and a very special thank you, um, we need to bring her up, Mrs. Rivera, who is our co-director, and um, we really couldn't have done it without her support and direction. Thank you so much. They're great and they're so talented. So I just want to give another round of applause to the children. And um, I do all that to thank a wonderful parent. Um, I don't have his beautiful daughter this year, but I have an older daughter in kindergarten, Mr. Lavagnani, for doing his time to video for us. He's a very busy man, so we really appreciate it. And Lisa Casa, with Mr. Lavagnani, who was the director. Boys and girls, oh my goodness, how fantastic you were. And I didn't realize we had so many American symbols. I come away now with a lot of information and a lot of knowledge. So how many of you really enjoy doing this? Excellent, right? You had a good time, and I heard that you're going to go downstairs and have a little party now to celebrate, because all the things we need to celebrate, right? And this is something fantastic. So parents, I wanted to share with you, this was a vision of Mr. Ford. Um, last year, we were trying to bring the arts back more and more. That's why we have a full-time music director, Mrs. Esposito, but also we felt that this is an important part of a community. It's just not enough for our children to do the reading and the writing and the arithmetic that they need to learn, but this is such an important portion of your child, educating that whole child. The new Common Core Standards has to do with listening and speaking. And this is a way that we can get our children to shine in other areas. We are trying to educate all of them. And so I'm sure as they grow up, they'll remember this day forever. Because I can remember the performances I had when I was in elementary school. But this was, again, a vision that Mr. Ford had last year, where he said, let's do junior assemblies for kindergarten, first, and second grade. And we love the fact that you're coming out to see your children and you're part of our community. So thank you for coming. And boys and girls, K1 and 2, you're a wonderful audience as well. Thank you.